Hello, and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. Criminal gangs have roamed the streets for centuries. With examples such as India's thuggies from the 14th century, which is where we get the word thug, then there's Barovsky Mir, who started out in the Russian gulags. The Kabu Kimono, who drunkenly fought their way around feudal Japan, many of the famous gangs have had a very strong sense of identity, be it in how they dress, how they speak, secret codes, hand signals, tattoos, or just having the same favorite Twilight movie. But today, we're less about the money, drugs, and violence as we go in search of those who broke the mold while they broke the law. It's the top 10 world's weirdest gangs. If you want to be in our gang, there's an extreme initiation. Are you ready? Are you prepared to do what it takes to become a full member? Okay, you have to click subscribe. Woo! We're proud of you. You're in. Number 10, the Ducky Boys Gang. The interesting thing about the Ducky Boys Gang from the Bronx in the 1960s is that not only did it mainly consist of very short Irish men, but they were rarely ever seen. The name Ducky Boys was from operating around Twin Lakes, also known as Duck Pond, but they were often called the Boogeymen of the Bronx, since their whole operation seemed hidden from view. Since they were so secretive, their most famous member is actually Ace Fraley, the guitarist from KISS who admitted to being a part of the gang in his youth. They may have built this city on rock and roll, but the odd murder probably freed up some of the real estate. Number 9. Kanto Women Delinquent Alliance Our next gang sounds like an anime lover's dream, but these girls, rather than cuddling up next to you for a Dragon Ball Z marathon, are more likely to steal your wallet and cut your face off. Tsukuban translates as boss woman and were gangs of very young girls in Japan in the late 60s and 70s. And they looked exactly how you'd expect a Japanese girl gang to look. Wild dyed hair, school uniforms constantly smoking, and carrying a large range of weapons such as chains and blades. One famous leader, Keiko the Razor, who ran a group of about 50 girls, kept a razor wrapped in cloth down her cleavage. Number 8. The Hawkehurst Gang Some 18th century criminals might run opium or deal diamonds. These guys traded in the most badass illegal goods known to man. That's right, it's tea. The Hawkehurst Gang were brewing bad along the south coast of England from about 1735. At this point in time, tea was helping to prop up the British economy, so it was heavily taxed. This led to a big black tea market. Well, black with a splash of milk. Their most famous act of violence was against a shoemaker called Daniel Charter and an old customs officer named William Galley. When they heard the pair had informed on them, they buried Gali alive and then chained Carter up for days before killing him and dumping him down a well, along with two sugars and a slice of lemon, we guess. Number 7. Lee Sapper Lee Sappers are by far the coolest gang we look at today, coming out of Central Africa, particularly those of the Congo people. This area was colonized by the French, and there has been a long-standing interest in the fashions of Paris. The members adopted an extreme fashion that is like an Edwardian gentleman with a 90s raver Instagram filter. They wear blindingly bright suits and match them with things like bowler hats, round glasses, or even a kilt. They're popular in the local area. Who doesn't like a man in an electric green tuxedo? But this is also because they are seen as a positive influence. Number 6. Gulabi Gang Another gang with a strong moral ethic is the Gulabi Gang, meaning pink gang in Hindi, who formed in 2002 and have since spread across northern India. It's women only and they formed out of a need to protect one another against domestic violence and sexual assault, which can often escape prosecution in many rural towns. 
They mainly focus on keeping women from danger and preventing child marriages. But they also protest things like food and grain distribution, which can be mismanaged thanks to corruption. Although they are generally peaceful, they're not against carrying a bamboo stick under their pink saris if they really need to make a point, or if they need to feed a panda. Number 5. Chijon Family Right, no more of this goody two-shoes helping the community nonsense. The Chijon family were a Korean gang who operated for just one year, from 1993 to 1994. But they didn't mess around. Kim ki got together a group of fellow ex-convicts and unemployed workers, united through their hatred of rich people. One of the members had worked at the Hyundai department store and produced a list of its wealthiest customers. So the Chijon family began a series of kidnappings. They originally intended to demand ransoms, but their hatred ran so deep that they murdered five people and even ate them a little bit. They were arrested and sentenced to death, but they said their only regret was not having killed more rich kids. They really brought cannibalism to capitalism. Number 4. Check It Despite the fact that it's 2017, Gay and transgender people still get a lot of hate and aggression, so one group in Washington, D.C. decided to meet violence with violence by forming the all-LGBTQ gang called Check It. For some locals, they're known as the most aggressive in the city, never backing down from those who try and intimidate them. To be fair, you've got to be pretty dumb to mess with a guy who can walk in heels. Those things are a deadly weapon. A documentary about them came out in 2016, executively produced by Steve Buscemi. Number 3. The 40 Elephants Gang This woman-only group operated for almost 200 years, going from the late 1700s to the mid-20th century. They took great advantage of the fact that women were seen as meek and innocent and that they must be given a great deal of privacy while shopping. These rules of society helped them to easily swipe clothing and diamonds before anyone realized what was going on. They were initially led by a powerful woman called Maggie Hill, who would swing a fistful of rings at the first sign of trouble. Number 2. Juggalos One of the very few gangs to be set up around a music group, and no, before you say it, Believers are not a gang. The Insane Clown Posse were a hip-hop group from Detroit who were big at the turn of the millennium thanks to top 10 US albums such as The Amazing Jekyll Brothers and Bang Pow Boom. Their legion of fans became known as Juggalos after the band created a wrestling federation. Juggalos spawned a whole subculture of their own, including violent gangs. They typically used bladed weapons instead of guns. The trouble is, about 80% of Juggalos are just music fans, so it's very hard to tell the difference until someone chops your arm off. Number 1. Notorious Nipple Gang The biggest mystery about the Notorious Nipple Gang is why they're not called the Notorious NIP. Like, the pun was sitting right there, guys. Well, girls, actually. This gang of Thai prostitutes have developed an ingenious method of attack. Before they go out, they smear their nipples with rohypnol. So when the fun begins in a hotel room, they drug their target with their <laughs> booby trap and make off with whatever they could take from the room. Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. And remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe. Hey there! Did you like that top 10 video? I know you did. You just watched it. Now you're here with me. So, uh, go hit that subscribe button so I, uh, don't have to whack you in the noodle. You don't want, uh, you don't want Sammy here whacking you in the noodle. Cause you know what happens to your noodle when Sammy hits you? Uh, bad things. It's Victor and Egg. You remember that? It's gross. You don't want that. You'll get it all over the computer and, uh, you know, you might break the internet. Anyway. Subscribe, you know, make sure you like the channel, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah.
You've been on YouTube before. Just do what you know you need to do to see more videos. And hey, if you're in need of a hitman, go down and uh, leave a comment for me. Maybe we can connect. You can give me some money. I can give uh, some violence to someone that you don't like. All right? I'll see you around.